This is Andrew for The Chosen Prime with a quick video review of MP25L Loud Pedal or the black Decepticon repaint of Masterpiece Tracks. Um, here you can see that this box is uh, kind of black and white with some silver foil. It, um, it is the same kind of style that Tiger Track and Silver Streak had, this is, which is this uh, pre-G1 kind of diaclone style um, color to boxes. Inside the box you do get his instruction sheet with some uh, details, you get a collector's card, you get two sets of the rear view mirrors that you can install on him in car mode. He comes with a set of stickers that homage the Diaclone version of the toy, which you can use to replace and overwrite the uh, Decepticon emblem here on the hood, as well as some details on the wings. He comes with a repainted version of Raul, um, with wearing an outfit from a different episode. Nice little bonus. Comes with a repaint of the blaster edition little accessory here. This time it's uh, styled to match uh, the micro change in blue and light blue version of Blaster that was uh, from Diaclone, which is a, another cool little pre-G1 bonus. Comes with the standard kind of nose gun that he had, uh, that he can have when he's in flight mode. Comes with a handgun here that is the G1 toy accurate version of the gun, the same one that Road Rage has. And finally, he comes with a stand that Trax has, um, this time it's in clear purple. So let's go ahead and take a look at some details here for a loud pedal. Taking a look at loud pedal here, you can see that his uh, exterior here is this kind of glossy black. Um, I've not seen a transformer that's been quite this pure black as well as uh, glossy. His uh, windows here are this kind of clear purple, which is kind of striking. The uh, detail here up on the, on the hood and on the roof is uh, actually a foil kind of uh, tampograph, which is kind of cool. Again, he homages uh, a Diaclone variant of uh, tracks um, that came out in Finland where it was he was black. Um, he didn't quite have purple windows, but I think then by then turning the, that toy into a Decepticon here, I think that the purple works, especially with the uh, black. But overall, it's a really, really good looking uh, kind of Corvette Stingray C3 here um, in this mode, just like the other versions of uh, the Trax toy. The transformation for loud pedal is the same as it is for Trax and Road Rage, so I will go through it fairly quickly. Um, to start with, we'll go into his flight mode. So we come to these wings underneath and fold them out of the way. Come to the back of the car here and lift up and pull back to be able to release the uh, back of the car here. So that this part hinges out like that. Come to the arms. We want to rotate them outwards to get them out. And then you can see the pins like usual. You want to pull until they lock into that position. Come to the arms, straighten them out so that they fit flush this way. Rotate the arm so you see the paint up top and this little intake kind of pointing in that way. Do that on both sides, straighten out the arm. Rotate so this is the top. Make sure this little wing piece here is set up. Come to the underside of the back canopy here and push out these little uh, kind of stabilizing wings on each side. Rotate the wings around so they face forward. The guns here, the little gun, gun missiles parts, push in on the back of the vehicle here to move them outwards and then rotate it back. And we want to rotate and pivot the, these little kind of back guns here so that they are kind of facing down almost like skis. The arms, there is a hinge. You want to hinge at this point here, 45 degrees, and then hinge upwards so that this uh, arm sits flush like this, and then there's a peg on the underside of the arm that pegs into the side of the car. And do that on the other side, so 45 degrees down, just hinge it down a little bit, and then peg into the side of the car. It's just a matter now of reattaching the back canopy, so just hinge it back and kind of fit it around the arms. I'll re-peg this in. Come to the front and take that little stub gun and you can see there's little two little pegs on the top of it. You want to just kind of sandwich them up into the front grill here like this. And there is loud pedal in his flight mode. If you want to, you can take his gun and you see the peg hole that's underneath here. You want to take the gun and push out the handle here so you get the little circular peg and then just plug it on the underside of the vehicle. 
And furthermore, you can take his flight stand, and it's also got a circular peg at the top, which is also fits into the gun, so you can keep the gun attached. And there is Loud Pedal um, in his fully transformed flight mode. To finish the transformation, we'll come and remove the little gun from the front, come to his underside, unpeg the gun from the underside as well, unpeg the arms from the sides. We need to remove the back canopy again, so we want to lift up and pull it back. At this point, there we want to rotate the canopy around and kind of move it backwards, angle up the wings, move these guns out fully by rotating out this little uh, back of the car, and then flatten out the missile kind of guns in the back so they look like, like that. The arms will go flat now, but then they will uh, actually angle up like that at these uh, joints. Come to these little back panels on the sides, and you want to lift them up, and then open up the doors. You essentially see how they open up here, and you want to rotate it up, and there is a peg um, here on the door that matches the peg hole in the back, so you want to just kind of push in like that. So to the other side, lift up, slide it in, and then peg that into his back. We can then lift up on the chest piece here and fold out his head. And then if you want to, you can, this is where you could hide or, or show the uh, Decepticon emblem. And there are two uh, kind of tabs on the chest piece here that match slots on the arms. And we just want to make sure that those are lined up correctly in both spots. And that'll help hold the uh, arms in once we uh, get to the backpack portion. And then the backpack will kind of angle down and there are two kind of clips on the uh, backpack here, the back canopy here, those kind of sit into the channels here. The arms, in order to flip out the hands, just push down on this piece, rotate it, and then you can see how it's kind of keyed here on the outside. You want to rotate the hand around and this piece will go back into the inside of the forearm. I'm going to do it on the other side real quick. So just rotate it and then just push and it's going to get keyed in there. Come to the waist, rotate it, split the legs. There is a kind of tight, kind of hooked peg here at the feet that you do need to kind of be careful of when you're pulling it apart. And it may be a bit hard to kind of pry open the first couple times you're trying to transform him. So you can see it's kind of hooked. Um, the feet, so the feet, you want to grab it and it'll rotate down with the uh, wheel part right here. And then push the foot forward into the base here and it'll snap into the foot. The This piece inner leg part here will rotate down as well as inwards to cover the bottom of the, of the leg. And then this little piece here will just rotate inwards to kind of fill in that space. Push in the side of the car and then come to the back here and just angle down the car kind of hood onto the back of his leg. So take the foot, kind of rotate it down with the side Make sure that that bottom part here, the foot, snaps into the side. Grab this piece here, rotate it. Rotate in this little foot piece inwards towards it. And just, uh, and then take the um, side of the car, push it in, come to the roof. Just angle it, hinge it down to the back. And there we've got loud pedal into his robot mode. So let's take a look at some detail for him. We're mode detail here for Loud Pedal. You can see that his head is an homage of the G1 toy um, tracks, um, but done up with that uh, Diaclone colors. Um, you can see that it is uh, nice to have this third different head, and this is a more kind of Decepticon-ish um, head here for this version of tracks. Um, the same glossy paint kind of comes across, but then we see some uh, kind of uh, swirly metallic plastic as far as the arms, we get some metallic paint here on the, sh on the shins, as well as some purple metallic paint here on the toes. Um, just a really kind of awesome looking color scheme here um, in his robot mode. Um, definitely looks like a dark version of uh, Trax. So it's interesting how they've made this uh, kind of Decepticon out of that, this uh, deco. Um, same kind of articulation that Trax had, uh, the head's on a hinge as well as a ball joint, um, the arms can uh, pivot up and down. They actually have a, a little hinge that can go forward and back. His elbows can uh, bend 90 degrees. 
uh, rotational on points on his hands and then his fingers move in one piece. Waist articulation as far as the rotation. Um, ratcheted knees, ankle articulation. Um, again, same posability that it was present on Masterpiece tracks. He does come with the uh, gun that amashed uh, the G1 toy, so we just flip out the handle. And it's got a normal square peg as well as a little like in the lip that fits into his hand. And I've actually found that the best uh, kind of way to kind of get it to work is to kind of rotate his hand around and then you can peg it in and it'll lock in um, securely. Loud pedal can also use the flight stand in this mode. There's a peg hole here on the back of his waist that you can plug the stand into. And so you want to kind of have him hovering on his stand. You can do so, so you can get some interesting poses uh, with his legs. Um, kind of moving up and down, which is a nice little bonus that they throw in with the stand. But overall, a really cool deco here from Takara Tomy for Loud Pedal. Um, he's uh, quite amazing. So let's take a look at some comparisons. Row mode comparisons for Loud Pedal with the other two versions of this mold. We've got Masterpiece Tracks and Masterpiece Road Rage. Uh, Loud Pedal uses the same uh, original uh, design for the legs, waist, and upper uh, chest um, that Tracks had, unlike the ones for Road Rage, which is a bit more feminine, but then uh, Loud Pedal does have the G1 toy um, gun that Road Rage has. And then overall, you can see that they all look quite different in their different color schemes. Um, Takara's done a good job here of making these uh, varied across the three of them. And for sure, Loud Pedal here is the most Decepticon-esque of the color schemes. He looks uh, quite mean here in his uh, robot mode. Quick comparison with uh, their flight modes. Here you can see the Loud Pedal does come with the purple stand with the Decepticon emblem, whereas the Trax came with the black one with the Autobot logo. And unfortunately, Road Rage didn't come with any stand at all, but it still is uh, nice here on Loud Pedal to get a, give us this uh, stand help with the uh, flight mode. Vehicle mode comparisons. Again, we've got Trax, Road Rage, and Loud Pedal. You can see how the color schemes kind of work across them all. They have the same flame decal in car mode here, but tracks the Gordon again is he's metallic, whereas Road Rage is kind of matte, and then Loud Pedal is a glossy black. Um, it's kind of cool to see these different variants of the toy that they do look uh, quite different um, side by side in these different colors and different kind of uh, overall paint schemes. Robo Mill comparisons to some other Masterpiece Diaclone toys. Here you can see Loud Pedal next to Exhaust, Tiger Track, and Ocular Max's Liger. And you can see that uh, it is really cool having these Masterpiece scale versions of these pre G1 toys. And Loud Pedal is uh, another great addition to that uh, line of your Masterpiece collection. Vehicle Mill comparisons. You can see that Loud Pedal looks good amongst these other Diaclone um, Masterpiece toys. Um, it's cool to have these. Uh, Kind of pre G1 um, cars here, and it's kind of it's definitely cool how they've made a couple of these uh, Decepticons uh, for our masterpiece collections. Some final thoughts here on MP25L Loud Pedal or the black version of Masterpiece Tracks. It is homaging a version of the pre G1 toy um, that most of us never be able to own that elusive black tracks from the finished Diaclone line, and so it's quite cool that Takar has come, given us this deco here in the Masterpiece line and given us yet another Decepticon um, for our Masterpiece collections. And it is, you know, yet another great addition to that pre-G1 uh, Masterpiece line. He's got good paint, he has all the accessories that Trax and Road Rage had, and just it looks uh, quite stunning here um, when you see him in person. Loud Pedal here is currently available from Chosen Prime. If you'd like to add him to your collection, he does come recommended, so take care.